in part one of this review of the Alps T950S we sh unboxed it and in this part two we'll be doing more to show you how this fake Samsung Galaxy Tab scam works uh, it, as you can see it powers up with a Samsung logo and as it powers up Samsung. So not only does it come with a Samsung Galaxy Tab imprint on the back side, it also plays a Samsung style animation. Now the Android tablet seems to be fully booted up. We'll be exploring a little bit more about the tablet. Screen looks like it is of reasonable quality, but notice there are no buttons, not like a normal Samsung tablet where there's a center button similar to an iPad there's no left and right button there's nothing anywhere you have to push the button on the power switch to get the screen to come back on and let's slide and it looks like your typical Android 4.4 look uh, typical let's uh, actually take a look at the screen carefully it looks like the quality of the screen is not too bad you can't tell what the resolution is let's scroll around take a look at see a little bit more about the device now in this about tablet section the manufacturer calls this tablet the T950S and that's the name we're going by it says Android version 4.5.3 but there's actually no such Android version out so we notice in this screen for about tablet there's lots of information that comes with the tablet in addition to the model number it has Android version CPU information all of this information gives the user some confidence that it must be real because it's shown in Android OS the LCM information trying to imply the screen resolution but they put 2560 by 1600 IPS there's no way the tablet can figure out it is an IPS screen or not so that's a screen technology so it looks like this information is all faked we'll be showing you how they fake it and in addition if we look at the storage space it says 64 gigs very convincing if you were to trust the information you see in here but, but we'll be again showing you how the storage space is significantly less than 64 gigs so this tablet seems to have a lot of information designed to fool the buyer in believing that the specs are real when they are not because a review of the internals of the Android tablet will show that where the information comes from and how to prove the real specs for this tablet. Now, if we scroll around and we look a little bit more, there's no other features here to see. So let's actually take a look at the apps. And if you notice, there aren't that many apps installed here. It's not your typical, there are no Samsung apps installed here. And there has an Antutu benchmark installed in the upper left corner. You rarely ever see a benchmark program by a manufacturer installed on a tablet that you buy. In this case, it's trying to prove a point. It's trying to prove that this tablet has device information and give you a little more confidence that the specs are real. The manufacturer exploits the fact that there's a build.prop file that it's like a text file you can change whatever values you want and these benchmark programs some of these will actually read that file and assume that the information is correct this is a very interesting case because the manufacturer is normally trusted so that a benchmark program can typically rely on that information to give you specs because normally this is reliable information however in this counterfeit scam they actually fake this the specs in the build.prop file and these specs are loaded in 
by the benchmark program and it's just displayed. That does not give it any credibility as the real specifications. Now in this N22 benchmark it's testing all kinds of things. It's testing RAM speed, it doesn't really test RAM size. The benchmark also tests CPU performance and that it would be a good comparison to understand what is the expected performance from an octa-core tablet and the performance of a much lower performing tablet. So as we know, for example, an octa-core tablet should be roughly four times as fast as a dual-core tablet. And the benchmark results that come out from this test should prove that we're four times as fast. And e even if it runs at a lower clock rate, if not four times as fast, maybe three times as fast. Or In part three, we'll be going over more details about the special build.prop file that is used to fake the specifications that you see in typical benchmarks and the Android about tablet information. And we'll also be showing you how we actually have identified the true specs for this tablet. Of course, there are also other ways to do processor performance comparisons. You can always take a quad core processor device and compare the bat performance to a tablet and see if in case of an octa-core you should get twice the performance. Likewise for screen resolution you can do something very similar. You can load a picture of one quarter the size and on an unscaled browser window it should show up as one quarter the size. For example if you got a 1280 by 800 image it should show up as one quarter of the size of the screen on a 2560 by 1600 resolution. Now here are the benchmark results from the Antutu benchmark and it shows top performers at the top, lower performers near the bottom and we don't see this octa-core tablet anywhere near the top and if we look it's near the bottom and it's slower than a Samsung Galaxy S3 so we see that the Samsung Galaxy S3 which is a quad-core processor running at 1.4 gigahertz is slightly faster than this tablet which is labeled my T950S which is an octa-core so this really doesn't make much sense so a quad-core is faster than an octa-core this tablet performs on the speed comparably to a quad-core so most likely this is what the processor and the tablet really is. Be sure to watch part 3 where we go over the build.prop prop file that's used to display the specs that you see on the screen. In addition, we'll be identifying the true specs for the tablet and we'll show you how we do it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.